repair your ship if you could land the thing in one piece, Captain Travel. Well, I did come first place in spaceship maneuvering level three, General Supreme. Is that so? Only because he was the only student in that class, CT. Oh, hush those lips, Donna! Not to worry. Report to us on your first encounter with these earthlings. Of course, Your Excellency. Having arrived in this London, England, it seems that the city could be the epicentre of this planet we know to be Earth. It's rich in culture and ruled by the people. Ah, a democracy. How quaint. So you've experienced no problems, then? Not really, Your Inquisitiveness. Uh, allow me to proceed with my report. Our first stop was a curious square known as Trafalgar. This very square is central to London, so other cities are often measured in distance from it. Yeah, Captain's Diary, intergalactic date 7027. London was founded by the Romans 2,000 years ago. Population now, 8.5 million. Oh, that's a lot of human earthlings. Oh, I seriously doubt I'll get to interview all of them. OK, what's, what's your name? My name is Aiden. Aiden. It's the kind of name we give to a pet on my planet, but never mind. Give me a high five. Or a high three in my case. Yeah, give me some skin, man. That's how you talk here, isn't it? Well, I'll speak to you later, Aiden. Bye. My word, look at the size of that cat. Anybody want to talk to an alien? So, are the little earthlings the ones in charge? <laughs> These small humans are very aggressive. Can you sing? Uh, well, I, I know a bit of um, space opera. Oh, Do you know I like that? a bit of space uh, Wait a minute, it goes a bit like this. Go on, then. It... <laughs> Time to gather information using my trusty CTI cam. <laughs> hmm. hmm, odd. Humans seem to reconstruct everything they respect in a cold, hard metal substance called bronze. Intriguing. Mm. Mm. Excuse uh, me, sir. Uh? Is that your vehicle up there? What? Oh, that's an aerial cellular automaton 3228D with an advanced rear view heated mirror system. I couldn't care if it was Harry Potter's Nimbus 2000, sir. Oh. This square is private land. Wait, do you not know who I am? No. Oh, I am Captain Travel from the planet... Uh, look, it doesn't matter what planet I'm from. I'm on a very important mission to make sure that this planet of yours is safe for my family so that they can join me exploring its... Look, mate, hmm? this land is owned by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II mm. and unless you have her approval, you can't park here. Or mm. even up there. Right. So I must seek this leader of yours and gain her permission. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, actually, could you tell me where she lives? It wasn't long before I was admiring the security around Buckingham Palace, home to the British Earthlings Queen. The Queen's guards are soldiers who look after all the royal residences in the United Kingdom. They wear a smart uniform, and their hairstyles remind me of how I looked in my younger years. My word, that's an impressive moustache. Reminds me of the old days when I was in the service, flying between the stars. Is hey. there something I can help you with? Oh, well, actually, I was wondering if we might be related. Uh, I request an audience with your queen, so I may obtain a parking pass for my spacecraft, yes. And Her Majesty's days are spent on important engagements, mm. such as visits with world leaders, mm -hmm. attending state banquets, mm -hmm. or opening important facilities, including mm. but not limited to hospitals and universities. Mm. I can assure you she would not be concerned with trivial problems, such as parking your silly vehicle. It is not a vehicle, and it is not a silly vehicle either. It's an aerial cellular... Look, look are you sure that we are not related? In Please keep way? your distance to the Queen's Guard! Oh, oh, what's that? Uh... Goodness, oh, for someone with such a big head, he sure has a short temper. Excuse me, uh, can you take this for us? Oh, yes, I'm sure. Uh, oh, such an odd people. They won't let you park, but they give you gift. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and these space vessels don't come cheap, you know. Did you acquire permission? Well, that's the strangest thing, your curiousness. Upon my return, I discovered what must be a peace offering from their royal leader. Yeah, a peace something, all right. A piece of yellow plastic. In fact, it has the human queen's official stamp on it. 
Hurrah, Captain Travel. You succeeded after all. What amazing progress. Yes, your appreciativeness. And that is not all, General. The ticket informs me it is for 60 Earth Pounds. Quite the profit. I was so pleased I insisted on a photograph with the issuer of the ticket to uh, commemorate the occasion. Ah, my first completed mission. Uh, so where are you sending us next? Let me see. There are so many different cultures and so many different countries to explore. Well, as long as I don't have to park this high up from the ground level again. Right then, <laughs> off again. You know, I'm finally getting the hang of flying in this Earth's atmosphere. Woohoo! Mind that statue? <laughs> Oops. Told you so. Oh, shut up, Donna. You're always... No, don't grab the steering wheel. No, indicate left. Indicate left. 